<laughs> well, I didn't know until okay. we are recording live. <laughs> oh, 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 Get the lies, John. Get the lies. I was in Minnesota a couple years ago. They got me on the show that I wrote. Yeah. We got it. And we're on. As soon as it's over, they said, listen, we're doing Joseph. It's a very difficult thing, and we don't know what to do with Jacob. We have a good time, and I have friends who live there, but it's really big. And put away these passionate photographs. They're party photographs. No kidding. That's a cool neighborhood. I know we were, but you can't put them back in. Yeah, please decide them things. I'm sorry. It yeah. was just like, you know, raw. Is that better? A little more. Oh, okay. All right. So we're doing a reunion of Chalk and Tunes. We did this back in 1997. That's a hawk. I mean, I was, when I did the show, I had friends with them. <laughs> Oh my anyway, we did this back at the uh, well, Eagle 97, which is now a cut which is like bigger, was actually a seven years But <laughs> oh, we can play the music, and we can call it talking to us. Well, we can talk. Well, 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 they gave me the whole house. We play music occasionally. And I'm doing but this. we had the original members here with Greg Roberts, yes, I live. John Ben White, then came Bill Eddings, then came Annette. Yeah. Oh, baby, that's right. Nobody calls me that anymore. Who else came? Bob Eckley. Brian. Brian, yeah. Well, he was there again. Yeah, Brian was there. Brian Morshaw. 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 history again. Bob 
Maybe you should have asked that. That's who they fired me. I'm going to put that right on the box. They let her sit around for about a month. Yeah, 
Signed no, up to go on the, with, the, the, with, the, with the Golden Knights. I, yeah, I was going to go up with the Golden Knights and uh, with their parachute yeah. team. I we went up with the parachute team. Yeah, we went. We went up with Dan Cole. We went up with the Golden Knights or something like that. I don't know what the term was. I didn't go with Dan, but I knew it was Dan. We swapped. So I went up with the French parents. Do you remember that, and Jim? I, and I had this Do you remember that or not? I can't I I remember myself, him, though, but no. <laughs> Okay, I went up with, I had the hat, still got the hat. You went up with the Red Barons, <laughs> or the uh, Golden Knights. Oh, they, I did too. They were delayed. Like, my head was like ready to blow up. It was a major delay. Because there was some incoming flights or something. I don't know why I was doing this since I suffer from extreme motion. I went out of the air. He's on me. It is one small thing. They put him in the air. Even though he wasn't jumping, they put him in a flight suit. And the flight suit. What did they do? He said, we're taking off. He said, that's good. Did they make you sign a waiver? They made you sign the waiver, too, right? And if he would ever take it off, we're up there for three days. It was all fine and handy until we got back. And all of a sudden, the guy decided to go, we're going to show you three hours. Three and a half hours. Wow. I went up. They were right up there circling them. around the airport. And then flight coming in, you know, or the weather conditions weren't right. Three and a half hours. So they're like, wow. I went up with the, the blue knights. I think they were with the blue knights. Was there blue knights? Yeah. I went up with them, and they did the the three the three of them, and they did the little tricks and everything. Flipped me upside down, and I'm looking up, and when I got down, when I got back, I kissed the ground. I really did. My whole head felt like it was gonna explode. <laughs> they put a flight suit in and like oh, laid down on the ground, didn't you? Yeah. They put I that flight suit on? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't lay down on the flight suit. They were zipping up the head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, the whole thing where they went, like these big what'd you, zippers. What you do when they went through the whole thing about ticket? You know, you, you pull your flight suit here to go in the parachute. You shoot up, make sure you don't pull it until you're clear of the plane. How about the Earl? <laughs> I got it, by the way. You said I had a few of them. Three and a half. I remember when Britta went up with the... Britta Brit went up with a Blue Angel. My blue Angels, that's who I went up with. Like, she was like... She said, I didn't know how... She said, I know how she <laughs> threw up all over the yeah. place. And she kept going all over the place. Well, was, was, <laughs> she said she started losing but control of her body. Still. Function. She didn't yeah. want to shoot. Oh, well, they... Britta, it's kind of like shoot her face. Well, that's what... Bill, Bill, I thought I was going to shoot her face. He just went up with these... He That's could. who I went up with with Dan and Dan, Dan did too, and somebody else. I came up with well, three of them. The blue angels and were the ones that. I'm hearing they're the ones not the pilot. Well, they're the ones that the truth of the jets. Yeah, yeah. That's what I went up with. I don't even remember that. Yeah, I went up with. Well, you might have been gone by then, but. Maybe Dan signed me up for it. That was one of those. Wow, that was one of those ones where it was a two seater. Yeah, it was a two seater, and they did the trick. And they flipped over the uh, 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 Yeah. And I'll yeah. never do it again. It was on my bucket list. The guy that was flying so my plane said, uh, we're going to spoil it to the right side. He has his own aerobatic plane. And now uh, we're going to uh, yeah, we'll, 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 edit this, buddy. Blue you said, oh. Now we're going to reach out and we're going to go off to the right. Give it to you. And I'm going, okay. Yeah, thanks. I'm going to give it to you. I do enjoy the story anymore. I don't want to do it. I think what we do is sort of cut me off. Everybody took me up. I thought I was going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Another belt. It would be a great story. Because I'm thinking about it. He's got 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 it. He's they said the first one's your parachute. First one, if we get into a problem, the pilot will tell you. Well, right now, I'm just going to release your parachute. Yeah, no, 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 no. Take that with you. We'll, we'll, we'll catch up with you when you cook. 
All right, that sounds good. Yeah, okay. Wonderful day. seeing everybody. Real proud. Right. Take boy, it's care. Been many years. Yeah, right. Right. Many years. Right. 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 You gotta come and see the boy. I ain't even seen the boy. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Meet some. So What's that? So we're all you are? Out there, they scare me by what, like, neck again? Yeah. Do we get up and then we're all over like that? Hey, Bill. Like Bill. You got jealous next time Ciccarelli's in town, too. You got a. He's not here right now? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You know he lives here. I'm here. Give him a call and tell him to come. I was thinking he's here. I didn't know how to get I haven't seen him. He said, no, he called. I haven't talked to him. He said, we're going to split up right now. He's living here right now. Looking for something to do. That's what I heard. God, he keeps telling me, Bill, I'll come in and do sports for free. I don't need that. 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 I mean, literally, I'm sitting there like this. Yeah, I should have told you. If I'd have thought about it, we could have had him come here. Three or four. I don't know. Have some good Ficarelli stories. And he was like, you were doing this. Is he still married? A character, yeah. He's married to Jet. He didn't have time to feel right. His name's Jet. Jet? Is it the same woman he married before? Of course her name is Jet. What else could it be? Yeah, I mean, you know. She doesn't carry any ideas. That works. It does. And if you met Jet, it would even work even more. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. You remember that he had a huge crush on Stacy, remember? The, the no. You remember that? Okay. No. <laughs> that was racket days. How do you know all the I tried to stay. You were, you were <laughs> way too involved in the inner workings of this place. I, was I know. I had fun. Too much, too much I had way too much fun. Come here and drink off the tap. Well, have fun in Wisconsin. I will, yeah, it should be. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. When you go to Wisconsin. What's that? Oh, I will. Well, let's take the average festival this weekend. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We have a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to. They get their beauty thing even in the middle of that. Yeah, we're going in September, but that's not the Irish festival. Well, we've got a catalog of ours after this. Yeah. And But all of our people here, like Chris Sarton, that gang, will all be over there this weekend. I guess I won't bother you in the hospital telling me no. Oh, Andrew. Well, actually, he just got done with his spit being the chairman of the board. He's going to stick with us for a I just hit 70. And he just got married? Jesus. Don't go I, I don't even want to tell you you're looking good for being an old fart. <laughs> Not bad considering he's had this. See, there we go. Yeah, you're you're qualifying. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're looking good, well, compared to, you know, a dumpster over there. It's a pig head, isn't it? Now that you're gone. I don't want to go there. I don't want to be so sick of it. Is there such a word as sycophant-ish? Right. And then they... Then I'm going to tell the guy... Yeah, it's from Mary Poppins. That's freaking wild. Yeah, but you and I know him longer than the rest of them here. Yeah, I've known him. Ever. Yeah. So you guys wow. yeah. Yeah. When, when there's no air and dynamics in there, that propeller's spinning around and there's not no air. Yeah, yeah. and you're hearing the edge is going right there. That's almost seven. I gotta take off myself. And I was sitting in the middle of the gun. Let's see him touch it. out of college. And it's like... Yes. I mean, please give her my best. I haven't seen her in a long time. Yeah, she still looks the same. Oh, I'll bet. She was a gay butt. 94? Yep. She's an album in me. That's her mom. She's kill me. That's the problem. Her mom is too. She has to move in with us. I'm not going to go up there. And I'm going to guarantee it. I'm looking down and going. Yeah, my goodness. Because it's, at that point in time, her grandmother lived to 94, and they actually did the Kevorkian because they put the thing over her pacemaker because it was water. It was keeping her alive. Wow. And she, you know, her rest of her body was shut down, but the pacemaker kept kicking her heart back. We're like, hello, oh, I'm still here. So they had to put a magnet on her to they put let her die. A magnet over the pacemaker. So it would stop. It's kind of a Kevorkian thing. It was like, you know, ever. Do that as well. Her life? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. But my mom is, other, she has. 
um, trouble walking only because of balance. <laughs> Otherwise, she's like, I mean, really a couldn't get sick. Yeah, her mom. Tiny horse, miniature horse. Yeah. 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 Awesome. I don't want to live that long. No, I hope the jeans don't come out of my life. I'm going to get through this weekend. Oh, man. Yeah, crazy. Oh, didn't, didn't you want to miss I did. Um, how do you get yourself? I told her the guy, uh, the guy in the hat. And, 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 and leave and look. Uh, wait, we, we took uh, off. Uh, Start to jump. For Tuesday, they're all inside. Right. Oh, Mondays. We're at Lake House. Not that far. You know, um, we were probably Lou and I? I went over there a long time. Up, but we played, it was Jeff Rosenbach and Lou and I played oh, yesterday. And then oh, my no, last no, gig is next <laughs> Monday. Yeah, well, the, yeah. And then I have someone that I'll be down for in that position. Um, yeah. Tell those guys I said, hey, I haven't seen them in a long time. Experience flying commercial. So you just have to be like, and you know, bedridden. <laughs> well, well jumping uh, the first planes, another jump several together. months we yeah, had, we had like a three pound okay. weight restriction. And just what they are being done and move up the five pounds and ten pounds. And yeah, I tell you, you're better. Aww, I'm praying for you. I'm not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you going to get the facility again? What are you hitting me I'm for? I'm at that age. You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, and that's like sarcasm here. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I'm at that age. <laughs> um, so, okay, because I know we're running out of time, so I need everybody to look at that camera and tell their favorites. I want John to tell us some stories. He was he was telling some great stories, then he got to politics with Jim, and then it all went to hell. That's not what I heard. You want to be first? I don't have any stories. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're not stories, they were all true. <laughs> I know, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> one, one of the best times, uh, what, what, it was during the um, uh, the Christmas season, and Greg went out to uh, collect money for the good fellows. <laughs> Poor Greg, he always gets sent out for all the scams. Well, he kept sending, he said to send the G-Man out to do things. And he went out to uh, the, literally the corner of uh, Sherman and uh, US fellas. 31. <laughs> US, Get US in our coffee and cocoa. <laughs> 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 and it was snowing like crazy, <laughs> and Greg had his wingtips on. <laughs> oh no! Oh, and he's talking. He's, talk he's talking to us like I, no. I gave him. He had a uh, what was it, vodka? <laughs> a bank cell phone. The bank oh, cell phone. <laughs> the old bank cell phone. Greg's talking all the back in the studio with his, his bank cell phone, oh, and all of a sudden we hear pum 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 pum. He'd fall off. If you look at that that exit ramp right there, he had slipped off the back <laughs> and he was rolling down. The bag oh, phones. Man. I remember trading those with Classy Chassis. It was those oh, bag phones. Those were horrible. And Greg, Greg, all of a sudden, Greg said, I shouldn't have put my wing tips on this morning. <laughs> and I said, What are the shoes you got? And he said, Ah, uh, the wing tips are the only shoes I got. <laughs> 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 uh, we put you through some shit, didn't we? Oh buddy? my god. Uh, he always did it though. He always rose for the occasion, too. Oh he always my did. Gosh. The Spam Fest, too. Do we have a Spam, spam Fest? Fest. Spam Fest. Oh my spam god. Jam. Uh, yep. Spam Jam. Classic. Spam Jam. Chili Spam Fest. Yeah, Chili yeah, Spam Fest. Yeah, Renee, Renee, whatever the guy's name was, you made some chili down there. We what, had, yeah, yeah. We had Lee. Renee something, yeah. I made, we had Lee Goodman. I made contact with Mary Harris' Lee family. Goodman, my Remember we, Mary, Mary Harris' the spam queen yeah. from uh, Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah. And she sent us all kinds of really cool That's stuff. Yeah, from Hormel Foods. I saw the spam. There's all the spam. From Hormel Foods, yeah. We had flip-flops and uh, watches. And the spam bank. The spam bank. Yeah. yeah. I've been trying I, to get a spam t-shirt. I don't eat meat, and I hadn't eaten meat for a long time prior to that. And you and ate spam? I ate spam chili. Oh, it man. was so freaking It was good. good. I just was like, yeah, Renee yeah. did that. Remember that spam and chili? Oh, yeah. Remember so Lee Goodman? Sick. Lee Goodman oh, no, there? No, no, we had him singing on there. Oh, yeah. Good <laughs> Elvis. Yeah. Good Elvis. Yeah. 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 So I don't we had that other Elvis kid, too, that 19-year-old <laughs> no kid. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the most classic on-air 
live radio. It was Greg opening a can of spam. Yeah. And sound coming out of yeah, the, the can. Suction. <laughs> yeah, the suction. Yeah, the suction. Oh, and someone's going to eat. That was, that was classic. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nicking so Europe. <laughs> What's your favorite story of this whole? Oh. He wanted us off the air. What are you talking about? I know. I know. Yeah. Like, what the hell's wrong with you, Bob? What was your favorite story keeping us off? <laughs> oh, the, the favorite story for me for, with you was then when we did the oldies and the eagle. Remember we did the sound? Annette and I stayed back at the studio. We did it from the oldies. And you guys were over at the Thunderbolt Gym. <laughs> Thunderbolt Gym. <laughs> and I was throwing on whatever music I could find, and every 10 minutes I was getting a call from Jim. We don't play that kind of crap on the Goldies. We don't play that. Don't cut that out. I, I did not agree. <laughs> I'm over there trying to run the whole thing from that little studio. He's over there. Turn that off. You don't play that. However, what became real evidence is that you created a following. Oh my God. Yeah. And, then, and then after a while, I had to back off and say, Hey, we're talking a Saturday morning. Yeah. My preference, I, I told you earlier, mm -hmm. my preference would have been able, if we would have been able to carry it through the week, <coughs> that would have been better broken. Yeah, the hangover wouldn't have worked. But, <laughs> oh my God. But you, you, you guys were such strong personalities. All of us were. You established yeah. that on Saturday morning and you had a following. Yeah. You know? And I finally just said, okay. Oh, I know, but you know. he's like, okay. Mm -hmm. well, all these, uh, all these group here had a. This, yeah, yeah. It was a great I liked yeah. every connection. Every meeting yeah. we had, he quit. <laughs> yeah, Jim, Jim, writes a, Jim writes a note to me. He says, this is not about you. You're the second highest salesperson here. We're not going to do anything with you. This is not has nothing to do with you. So he starts his meeting. And he's bitching at all the salespeople. And I, I read, damn it, Jim, I'm not going to. And I quit. <laughs> he says, it's not about you. <laughs> No, the, the the Saturday morning show. I think I think I very much underestimated in the beginning how many stupid, crazy people there are that like it. How, how many strong personalities there? Are. Yeah, because yeah, I you agree. can't do radio without personality. Yeah. I agree. And I. I just didn't believe the personalities were there in the beginning. Yeah, Bob well, loved us. I know Bob loved us. <laughs> Bob listened every Saturday. <laughs> Someone liked us. Like, like yeah. he, he became a firefighter. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> almost too much fun with that. <laughs> That's right. Fireman G. Yeah, uh, Twenty top races that G would be a mm. great firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Greg. No, it was good. Yeah. It was good. It was good. It was good. Oh, it, man. it was good. <laughs> okay, okay, we start now. Your turn. Your oh favorite. My gosh. It's your favorite moment. I'm gonna get those two over there. Okay, yeah, net. Net Go for it. I really don't. I mean, I have just this sense of having a blast, yeah. and I remember it was nasty and dirty and funny and goofy. Smoky. And raunchy. Yeah. Yeah, it was very smoky. And it, was just there so it, it was very cutting edge for the time. It was, yeah. you're right. I mean, that, that's, that was a scary part. Yeah. Yeah. We were, we were from a scared. <laughs> we were frightening. We were pretty scared when I said, listen, can we get away with that? Ah, what the hell? Yeah, I guess we just did. Yeah, I don't really No one I stopped us yet? Yeah. I love doing Oh, Bob that. loved it, though. I mean, it was really Bob, because yeah. like I say, everybody else wanted us off the air, but Bob yeah. said, nope, they're going to go. That's cool. Yeah. Bill, what do you got? Well, the one that sticks with me is when. I had just gotten back from Russia, and when I was in Russia, when I was in Moscow, I was there for the 850th anniversary of the founding of the city, and I was staying with a Russian family. These guys interviewed me by phone on the air. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Including my friend Olga Petrova, <laughs> and, she, and they're asking her questions, and she's cracking up. She's not used to these Americans, you know. But when I get back, her family bought me a case 
of Russian Smirnoff vodka. Dang, why wasn't I there? And I you were brought there. a were bunch of bottles to the show the next Saturday morning, and Smirnoff. we drank them on the air, which is so in violation of the regulations <laughs> of the Federal Communications well, Commission. You, you were going to teach us how to drink vodka Russian style. Yep, and believe me, <laughs> that's... Somewhere I have a recording. That's, that's yeah, room temperature. A recording boom, knock that sucker back. And, and we actually went an hour longer. <laughs> <laughs> but when we were done, we, we were, were so trained. Wow. Come down and, and join and us. And you can't, uh, the last hour, you can't understand a word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't remember it. Well, I, I remember I the vodka. so lost its license. You can't do that. <laughs> Oh, we're nuts. <laughs> so anyway, that's fine. We did it. Yeah, that's cool. We that's did fine. it. From a from management cool. point of view, ignorance was bliss. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you were doing it. Oscar. My, my guy was telling Bill earlier, my, my favorite was Neil, Neil Rosen when he came in over with Toto. This was and, the yeah, producer that was, of oh, Cherry County Playhouse. Yeah, yeah, when he, was, yeah, when he, yeah, did, yeah. Uh, he did the whole thing with Toto. I mean, they, uh, the, the guy was amazing. I mean, some of the stuff that he had written and some of the oh, stuff that he had yeah. done, I mean, I was just very impressed with him. And like I said, I told Bill, I said, the worst part was when Neil passed away, they asked me to be MC. It was the worst freaking day of my life. Well, he's a <laughs> tough act to follow. He's a tough act to follow. Oh, yeah. 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 But he was he was funny. I mean, that, remember the Toto story he did though? Oh remember yeah. That? Oh god, he went he went on. He uh, went for a whole thing. Toto. He set it all oh. up, and then oh. he talked about Toto. And he had <laughs> some great stuff to say about Ted Knight. Yeah. Yeah. About John Travolta. I mean, he worked with all these guys. Well, he used to write. Well, oh yeah. For the Smothers Brothers oh, yeah. right. with yeah. Steve Martin. I mean, he made yeah. Pat. Yeah. He made, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. He made yeah. Pat Paulson look pretty oh. small time compared to what he did. I mean, this guy was pretty amazing. Well, because we get one, then we get then we get Pat. Also yeah. the show. Yeah, but he was back, back in that day. Yeah. yeah, but to me, he was the he was the star. I couldn't believe he was oh, yeah. in our yeah. town. You know, I thought yeah. what a, what a guy. But yeah, that was my favorite. And Spam Fest and uh, and Turtle Turtle Lake New yeah. Fest. Uh, yeah. was say, my favorite <laughs> by far is Turtle Lake. Well, my favorite is him when they're playing when you play volleyball. How do you play volleyball in the deer? Well, especially after we found out they were like in their late seventies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boy, well, she that creates an image for you. When I when I was in <laughs> that, when I was in that broadcast was probably the most incredible thing. Yeah, we ever when I went to K when yeah. I was in KBZ and I I talked to her the first time and I talked to her about this whole thing. She sent me a catalog of what these women and these people look like. And it was like, I would never go to this camp. That's why we sent somebody else, because I would never go there. They were advertisers on, on the station. Yeah. Right. They, 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 oh, yeah, because they gave, we gave away some stuff. And right. Oh, yeah. yeah, they yeah they were, that's why we interviewed, yeah, yeah. We interviewed the, the gal that was the executive director. Yeah. Hoffman. And, and like, like, and like Tammy and Hoffman or something like that? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't remember what her name was. But Hoffman. In the, in the first segment, I said, so how did you get involved with this? She said, well, 25 years ago, when my husband died, I was going to this nudist colony, and so I got involved in this thing. And she said, and then I met my second husband, and uh, and we, we kind of figured out that she was in her late seventies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw her. Believe me, I I did see her. Yeah. <laughs> Went to a brick and we like, were all kind of laughing. We're all kind of laughing, Can going, I? okay. So what else are we talking about? Wait a minute. So wait a minute. Get, but they were having a festival. They were having a recruitment festival. Wait a minute. No, and, and how about you asking them? How, so how do you guys slow dance? <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah you did ask that. You did ask that. How do you dance for yeah, like, that? Like uh lots of duct tape <laughs> <laughs> And she said, no, we have towels. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. That's she had towels. That's pretty much what we lost. She had towels. And she said, we have, we have towels. We don't have that. <laughs> but she started out that segment by saying, we had a 5K run. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, the imagery is overwhelming. <laughs> It was great, the whole thing. It was great to radio. I started to chuckle a little bit, and, and she said, and no, we do, we do allow everybody to wear shoes. And then I really laughed. I remember that. Yeah. He was the worst, though. He was the worst of the whole thing. He was laughing through the whole thing. Well, I was trying not to laugh. And, and, and she said, so, 
<laughs> How do you do it? She said, I know you're laughing about that, she said, but everybody is required are required to wear shoes. Oh, <laughs> 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 Great. Well, you know, did we ever do it too when they had nude stock? We did yes. nude stock, and what's his name went down, and the sales guy went down. Oh, okay. Was that he one called one? in oh, no. and said, That was Renee. First thing I did was, I want yeah. a bunch of really good sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> that was Renee. Yeah, because when I was a kid, wow. when I was a kid, I used to have the KVZ, I got to interview. That was when I got to interview, that was when I got to interview uh, Randy Bachman and uh, the guy from Grassroots. You know, the, uh, I can't remember his name now. But I got to interview a lot of good people, but we did we interview anybody? Any stock stars? Yeah, there was a guy from Grassroots. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.